Hello there, and welcome to the 9DKP TCG Quick Start Guide. From us here at ESE Toy, we'll be going over the basics of the game and how it all works. Let's get started. 9DKP is a fast-paced two-player game that's easy to pick up and easy to learn. Each player must have a deck of 40 cards, as well as the accessories needed for the game. If you have any of the starter decks, all of these accessories are included. If you only have the cards themselves, there is a digital companion app that's available for free on Android and iOS devices and has everything you need. The goal of the game is simple. Using the counter, you and your opponent begin with 2000 HP and 0 DKP. The players use their cards to lower each other's health. If your opponent runs out of HP, then you win. But hold on. What is DKP? DKP stands for Deadly Cat Points. This is the currency that is generated and spent through playing cards. The maximum amount of DKP you can hold is 10. If you happen to gain any more than 10, you will experience what's called overload, meaning that any DKP generated beyond 10 will filter over to your opponent's pile instead. So don't save up too much. Here is the layout for 9 DKP. This is referred to as the range. You have your draw pile, discard pile, and four spaces to lay down characters. There is your range, your opponent's range, and the overall range. Once your range is full of characters, you may not play any more until space is made. Characters can only be removed from the range by defeat or returned through play. There are two different cards within 90 KP. The character cards and the scratch cards. Character cards are the main element of the game, as your means of attack and defense. Scratch cards are one-time use effect cards that can cast crazy effects during the game. For character cards, each of them have a colored border, representing the faction that they come from. Red is for cats, blue is for survivors, and green is for zombies. On the top left is the card's BP value. BP is known as battle points, which is a measurement of the character's hit points and attack power, making this a shared number. So if it's a higher number, it hits harder and can soak more damage. When it's a lower number, it hits for less and can be taken out easily. Down at the bottom of the card is the card's effect and DKP gem. The DKP gem dictates the amount of DKP that is either generated or spent upon playing the card. If it spends DKP and you can't afford it, you can't play the card. The color of the DKP gem also determines how the card's effect works in the game. There are four different colors, black, yellow, blue, and red. Black is neutral, giving the card no effect, only flavor text. Yellow is instant an immediate one-time effect that takes place the moment the card is played or after fulfilling a certain condition. Blue is passive, an ongoing effect that plays constantly until the card is removed. Red is alternate, an effect that may be used instead of attacking for the card's BP, meaning that this effect can be used more than once. And finally, on the top right is the card's rarity. This is measured through letter ranks from D to S. Even scratch cards have these, You'll also notice that some characters feature a POW symbol above their rarity rank. These are POW cards. They are cards with incredible strength, with a high cost in DKP. Some of them even have some overwhelming effects. That about does it for the character cards. Now onto the scratch cards. As I've mentioned previously, scratch cards are one-time use effect cards. These come in a variety of effects and costs. From drawing more cards, to healing, and to even removing cards from the range. Whenever a character card is placed on the range, it will always be positioned sideways and remain inactive. This is known as the catnap state. Cards that are in catnap will not be able to attack nor defend for the player. So if you attack your opponent while their cards are in catnap, you can bypass their characters and hit your opponent directly. Any cards previously in catnap will awake at the beginning of the player's turn, to that of which you will turn upright. Active cards can only perform one action before being sent into catnap again. Actions such as attacking, committing to defend, or using a red gem's ability. Characters may also be forced into catnap by other characters' effects or through scratch cards. After a quick shuffle of your decks, you and your opponent must set your counters to 2000 HP and 0 DKP. To begin, the players must roll the die to determine turn order. The player with the higher number will choose if they will go first or second. Then the players draw 5 cards into their hand. Throughout the duration of a turn, the players will rotate through certain phases as they play. We begin with the draw phase, which is to simply draw one card into your hand. However, if you go first from the beginning of the game, you will not get the draw for that turn. Next is the action phase. Start by awakening any cards that were in catnap and then turning them upright, making them active. 
They will become available to either attack or defend for you during your opponent's turn. You may play only one character card from your hand during this phase, as long as it generates you DKP or you can afford the cost. Scratch cards may also be played during this phase. You can play as many as you like and as long as you can pay the cost for everything. These actions during this phase may be performed in any order and are interchangeable into almost any combination. What's last is the end phase. This is where you declare to defend with any remaining active cards on your range and end your turn. When a player declares to attack with a character, the opponent may only defend with any active cards they have on their range. Being the recipient of an incoming attack, the opponent will have control in how they defend, allowing them to choose their battles between the active characters. Once decided, combat will initiate. Combat will always be one versus one, so the cards can only target one other card at a time. If the attacker has higher BP, the defending card is defeated and the leftover BP will be directed towards the opponent's HP. If the defender has higher BP, the attacking card is defeated and the leftover BP will not be directed towards the player's HP. If both cards have equal BP, they will both be defeated and discarded, leaving both players unharmed. If attackers remain and the opponent only has cards in catnap, then all of the BP will go straight towards your opponent's HP, making them take the entire hit. Despite having the opponent having control in defending against active cards, they will not have control in defending against character card effects or scratch cards. Instead, it will be up to the player to decide. Here are the limitations in regards to building a deck in 90kp. A full deck must consist of 40 cards. No more, no less. Only 3 copies of a single card is allowed. If it is a PAL card, then you may only have a single copy. However, it is possible to have multiple unique PAL cards. Before we finish, here are some additional rules to 90kp. There is no limit to the amount of cards you can have in your hand. You may potentially have as many cards in your hand as there are in your deck. If you run out of cards in your deck, you will experience what's called bleed out, making you lose 100 HP every time you are unable to draw a card for every turn. The player is not obligated to defend against the opponent. You may choose to soak the damage yourself instead of sacrificing your cards and their attack power. If a card's effect supports your range by boosting their BP, that boosted BP will take priority when your cards take damage. If the supporting card is removed, it will not remove any other cards as a result. When a card is resurrected, it will be placed back onto the range in Catnap, and the card's effect will play again. However, any DKP that the card gives you or takes away will be omitted upon resurrect. PAL cards cannot be resurrected whatsoever after being discarded. That about does it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below, or you can shoot your questions over to our Twitter at 9DKP. If you're interested in the game, you can take a look at our shop at www.9dkp.com forward slash shop. Starter decks, booster packs, and more are available for purchase. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.